Hello everyone. In this video we're going to be looking at a long river profile. This is the shape that the river takes all the way running from the beginning, its source, or to the end of the river, its uh, mouth, and where it meets the sea or uh, a lake. Now it's very very smooth this curve, um, even though at the top I've put an anomaly in which I'll explain later. Now we can divide the Long River Profile up into three uh, different parts, as you can see I'm marking them down now. These are the upper part, um, the mid part, and the lower part of the River Profile. Now each of these parts has got different characteristics. The upper part is dominated by erosion, the mid part tends to get a combination of both, erosion and deposition, and the lower part is almost entirely uh, deposition, that's going on in this case. You can see I'm marking over here with the red line the extent of the different types of features that you get. So erosional um, features upper and mid, and depositional features mid and lower. So the features that you get in the upper part of the river that are mainly erosional can include things like waterfalls, um, rapids, V-shaped valleys, um, and anything at where um, erosion dominates. In the mid part of the river we mainly get meanders. These um, are formed because the outer part of the bend is erosional and the inside of the bend is depositional. And you can see that the um, depositional features uh, are deltas at the end. Now, um, coming back to this anomaly that I mentioned in the upper part of the river, the reason why I put it there is to indicate that the river is trying to achieve this nice smooth profile. So any anomalies in this nice smooth profile are going to be gradually eroded away. Um, such as waterfalls, and Niagara Falls is eroding away around about um, half a meter a year. Uh, finally, you can see that I'm marking in what the cross section of this river profile would look like. So in the upper part, it's very, very steep, um, like a V-shaped valley. In the mid part, it becomes uh, a little bit wider, but it's only until you reach the, lo the bottom part that you get this kind of like very, very wide shaped river uh, that normally has quite large uh, floodplains as well. Inside the channel, you'll also see river braiding and um, other types of features. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.